gotta go. What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo for the month of August 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of moving forward emotionally, mentally, spiritually, coming into alignment, making a decision to move forward and let things go? Or physically move forward. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. They cuss a little, they cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say, oh, but I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right now to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, the way I'm set up, this is my shit. I'm a cuss, okay? Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribe, the love, the readings, the support. I truly appreciate it. Also, this will be for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers. For the month of August 2019, if you ain't here the first yet. <laughs> to the new subscribers, hey y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, okay? We don't fuss and fight, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love, share, grow, evolve, enlighten. One big happy family over here. Positive vibes on it, okay? To the returning subscribers, family, uh, what the hell y'all been going through? What, what What's going on with y'all views? Y'all don't love me no more? Write in the comment section. What the hell I did to a motherfucking... What I did? I ain't tell one of y'all y'all was beautiful. I ain't got to tell you beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite cousin. How beautiful to me. Why well, I got to tell you? But since I got to tell you, let me know if that's what was missing. Because well, I ain't flirt with y'all enough. Because, you know, y'all are some very loving creatures. That's why you're my cousin. <laughs> that's it. This may or may not resonate with everybody, you guys. Um, please take what does, leave the rest. Uh, I would suggest you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And if that shit still don't work, get a reading. Well, I'm with you. Description below. That's where that shit can be found. <clears throat> All right, we're going to start off with your intuitive messages for the month of August. I don't like this lipstick brand. I love black. But y'all tell me what you think. I need to reapply. Maybe I need to reapply. It's been a while. I'm running my game now. All right, for you guys, I got inner voice, family matters, entrepreneurship, wealth, choose you, drama free, self esteem, triggers, drastic changes, secrets revealed, acceptance, life path, nurture, spiritual protection, become ye not. <laughs> Who did this one's deep, y'all? Become ye not your perpetrator. Fear of the unknown. Alright, so any of the intuitive messages still resonate with you? Hell yeah, this your message is still right. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the six of diamonds, okay? So some of you all may be in the space of just wanting to up and just move away. Some of you all, I am um, hearing drastic changes, drastic changes. So going forward, some of you guys may have to. Um, I'm also hearing restructuring of life. So some of you guys may be um, experiencing a time during this time where there's going to be some drastic changes. I heard rehabilitation. Uh, for some of you all, I'm also hearing marriage. I'm also hearing renewals, and I'm also hearing complete walking away. Okay, so some of you all, this definitely has to. Then I also heard father figure. So, and then I got the emperor. Okay, to clarify, the six of Diamond. So some of y'all, this could actually involve an Aries or a Taurus, divine masculine energy. So this could also be your divine masculine. Okay, but some of you guys are making a decision to either move away or move forward. Okay, in a situation. Others of you are actually healing issues around the um, 
around some type of abandonment or moving forward and healing the inner child within you, moving forward um, away from some type of abandonment issue around the father figure, okay? These things are being discussed during this time. Some of you all, you may be um, mentally in your head about some type of abandonment issue regarding a father figure during this time. This is also uh, regarding the father of your children. You're recognizing uh, some type of secular pattern within your ancestry during this time, and some of you guys are realizing that you are the one who has been chosen to switch that switch it up okay some of you guys are the one who's been chosen to switch that shit up angel message for the month you guys got compassion compassion love love somebody you know what? I actually got one uh, during the priest shuffle before I get this. Before I sing your angel, uh, sing, sing your angel message. Goodness. <sighs> had me a joint before. I did this reading. Anyway, listen. See, I said that. I did. Y'all know I'm transparent. No fucks be given. Okay. Um, the inner, uh, the song that I got for you guys before I even crank it. Um, I know it's about Melanie Fiona. But the song that I got for you all was And it kills me To know how much I really love you So much I wanna ooh, ooh, ooh. And it was actually the part of um, Should I pass or should I say? Whatever she say Pass by, call a chick up, Start some shit Then hang up Or should I be a lady Ooh, baby, cause I wanna have his babies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cause I don't wanna be alone. I don't wanna be on my own. But I love that man. There's some things I just can't stand. Yeah, you know. That, that, that particular, um, part of the song was very, 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 um, significant to me. Um, and for some of you all, I felt that there's some type of harmony within the mastery of self, the mastery of emotions that's trying to take place that is assisting you with moving forward and making a decision during this time, okay? So for some of you all, there's, there's, a, there's a big focus on the heart chakra, okay? Others of you, rose quartz will be, and it's ironically, I was doing you guys, I was going to have to do you guys readings today, and I literally bought my rose quartz wand to the, uh, to the reading, so I think I'm going to put my selenite up here. Even those courts do my direct. <clears throat> okay. The angel message you guys got, y'all know I'm goofy. Let's keep it moving because y'all know y'all get real serious sometimes. Y'all goofy as hell, though, for real. Archangel Zadkiel. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. I'm, 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 I'm immediately hearing um, renewal, renewal of family, okay? So for some of you all, there's a decision that, that, that you need to make possibly regarding um, a father figure, the father of your children, if you're a Virgo woman. Uh, if you're a Virgo man, this possibly has to do with forgiving your father or rectifying a cycle with moving forward and actually following, moving forward, choosing matter, choosing way of the heart versus what materially makes sense okay and for some of you all this is actually recognizing um that you have that you are a divine masculine you are a divine feminine you have a divine masculine some of you all actually you may may be getting a lot of um a lot of synchronicities around moving to a whole nother place i keep hearing i keep hearing uh california for some of you all this warm climate okay um but for some of you all this has to do with Choosing matters of the heart and trusting in what it is that you cannot see. And knowing that there is prosperity. You have everything that you need in order to rebuild. There's this fear around going through a repetitive cycle of a father figure here, okay? Others of you, um, there's a need for you to trust yourself, trust your ability to make money when it comes to creativity. Some of you all, you are really stressing about opening up that business. And to be honest with you, you wouldn't keep getting those. Some of you guys are clairsentient. Others of you have the gift of clairaudience. And others of you, um, 
some of you are very clairvoyant. Others of you have been having dreams, and in your dream space, things have been aligned for you. Like you, some of you guys are literally dreaming your future. Um, if you choose to make that step and choose to align with your spiritual path, which will bring you abundance. But there's this fear and this confidence issue. Something about the self-esteem. Some of you all also may be looking at yourself physically. I know I'm talking fast, but y'all, I get the messages fast, and some of them come clairaudiently, some of them come premature. So I'm sorry if I talk fast. Catch up, hot sauce. Okay. <clears throat> some of you some of you I'm, I'm hearing knock at the door some of you also may be having a father figure that comes in to literally knock at your door like somebody is tired of waiting on you to come forward they're going to they, they're gonna knock at your damn door and literally like um, and others of you there's someone wanting to come back into your life and there's going to be some type of situation where they have to show you like prove I'm here reprove reprove or prove their loyalty or their sense of loyalty and there's this sense of um shared responsibilities to rebuild this aspect of trust where one feels safe safe safety i'm hearing safety but safety in moving forward in a relationship and for some of you all there's a need for you all to kind of consult with your children and some of y'all got some very gifted children right I start talking about my little fellow star seed gang gang and y'all children and it, it, it got it got real. Some of you guys, your children may be telling you um that their father figure maybe you didn't know what their father figure was. Some of y'all your children may be telling you to look in jail, do what the hell the kids say, they be knowing shit. Okay? Somebody's getting to get out of jail. Your children can be having dreams about it, and for some of y'all, you didn't even think that this person was going to be getting out of jail. I'm here until two years from now. I don't tell you what what, what else I heard because <clears throat> some of y'all, this person may get out if they get out of jail and they immediately want to move, Virgo, just just know they 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 snitched and they ain't snitch on on the punk ass bitch. Okay? Now we gonna move past that. That's none of my business. I ain't got my damn teacup. Okay, some of you guys, there's uh, what is preventing movement? This person loves you, but this person doesn't trust in a situation because they're afraid that there's going to be some type of repetitive um, cycle or repetitive aspect around love where they, there's a lacking of being able to nurture or, an, or, or someone not trusting in their ability to nurture a situation, even though um, some of y'all here water, some guys can be connected to a water sign. All right. Some of y'all, a situation is coming in to trigger um, a childhood wound so that you can, once and for all, move forward and start sweeping that shit under the rug or just going to work and ignoring the shit, okay? Some of you guys could have actually tried to have a conversation with the father figure, but you felt as if you were heard but not felt. There's a difference between being, a, well, anybody can fucking hear you, but do you feel me though? Like, because feeling me is acknowledging taking accountability and coming up with a solution or a compromise to a solution. But if you heard me, you're just going to nod your motherfucking head and be like, yeah, that's what's up. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a difference. <laughs> and it's also trust yourself because motherfucker can't fake energy. It's a vibe. Okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for the beautiful Virgos? Summer Rider Venus, as well as the Frost Watchers, and love for the month of August. Everything she's just trying to jump off the side of yeah, some of you guys are <laughs> some of you guys are not speaking your truth when it comes to how you feel about someone juggling you and another person in a relationship. This could have to do with the earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, um, as well as the uh, air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? But some of you are situation is not as it as it was perceived to be, but you're not speaking up about it during this time. Some of you guys are just okay, I'm hearing I'm hearing uh solid moves. Some of you guys are planning low like planning behind the scenes to set yourself up and move away from a situation, but every time you like each time you step pretty much the closer you get to your end goal, there's this more of this state of anxiety about it because literally you're facing the aspect of the anxious listen. And listen to fear, but fear itself because it's simply the illusion that you are creating in your mind. Some of you guys are creating self-fulfilled prophecies when it comes to how a situation is going to go, which is preventing you from making a decision. But some of y'all, I'm hearing Capricorn. This could involve a Capricorn. Others of you, I heard Gemini, but this could also involve a Gemini. 
some of you guys are trying to balance your emotions during this time you may be keeping things to yourself um when it comes to and some of y'all are feeling as if your emotions are all over the place regarding possibly a water sign who is attached to someone who could be an earth sign could be dealing with cancer Pisces, scorpio who won't make a decision but I feel like this person still wants to judge. They want to be in your energy, but they refuse to make a damn decision because this person is not telling you that they could have reconciled and went back to a situation. Some of y'all are going to find out in the darn this way. Mm -hmm. Which is going to assist you in making a decision, okay? Some of you guys are not speaking about a situation or someone juggling what you know um, as far as a matter, as far as. Far as uh, within a situation with someone juggling because there's this fear of having to be by yourself and everything financially being on you, okay? Some of you all may feel as if you don't have enough to be independent or you don't have enough to stand up for yourself financially. You don't have enough financially to stand up for yourself. This could involve a family situation, someone who you have children with. Others of you... Some of you guys are defensive about returning back to a family situation and you don't understand why you're defensive because you have a really good relationship with this person. What you're feeling is that someone, somebody could have gotten put out of there. Like whoever this is is not coming in telling you, Virgo, what's going on. Somebody could have actually got evicted or going through eviction or getting put out of their place. Someone is lacking financially. Like they, they're coming in because they need to come in, okay? And someone is used to you being a slave to your loyalty. Whomever this is, my advice to you would be to make them prove themselves. Like literally make sure that their actions are aligned with their words because eventually this motherfucker is going to show you who they are. That you can't fake energy for them, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with, um. for those of you who was in a situation and this could have been a domestic situation or a family situation with possibly an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person could have been tied to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so they could have had children with. Some of y'all, this person could have been helping you financially. For someone, if you were juggling an, uh, an earth sign and an air sign, I definitely feel like if you are not the one that's making a decision, Virgo, someone's going to make the decision for you. And either you could be getting left behind for this air sign, or this air sign is going to completely remove themselves from the situation um, because they're also kind of telling this person that they, they want them to stop juggling. And somebody is making a decision to not make a damn decision. It's like, fuck it. As long as we ain't got to talk about it, then, you know, I'm drag my damn feet for as long as I can drag my fucking feet, okay? Some of you guys um, may feel as if you're dealing with a fire sign. Some of y'all are dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. That could have some information regarding juggling, or some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign that is that is. I'm hearing lifestyle that that is like it's like you want a family with this person, but this person is judging you based on your past. Someone could have also could also be seeing something on your page. I don't know why her. She's such a hoe. She's such a hoe. There's a male figure Virgo that thinks that someone is a hoe. Okay. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, you know, Sagittarius. This person wants to correct the cycle when it comes to their family, but this person um, has the tendency to listen to outsiders or <laughs> to assume and make an ass out of them damn selves. Instead of having a conversation, they want to stalk from the bushes and make assumptions by these stalking shits. Perceptions all wrong, okay? Others of you, someone, some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, um, during this time that may not be open enough. You may, this person may be coming out as defensive. There's something that this individual is not telling you. They're kind of keeping um, things to themselves. They may be coming out from here and dry during this time because secretly this person wants to walk away. This person could have also, um, this person also feel as if they can't, I'm hearing some of y'all definitely dealing with the Aries and the Taurus man. I also heard Sagittarius, okay, very strong. Okay, some of y'all are dealing with a person who glorifies money. And they're just they they don't want to acknowledge the fact that they're ungrateful. It's like it, it they make you feel as if you're not enough because ultimately you should step back and look at the situation. I'm hearing that for some of this 
For some of y'all, this, this stems from, this is an attribute from a mother figure, a narcissistic mother figure. So this person likes to project their energy onto you to make you feel as if you don't have enough because they feel they don't have enough. And there's this aspect of someone playing on your mental to lock you in a situation to make you feel as if you have to give to them financially in order to build when ultimately if you just cut the fucking middleman and stop giving to this person's uh potential that you have fallen in love with true you know we're gonna keep it r-e-a-l um then you see that you'd be more prosperous by yourself i told anybody if you want to know if you're dealing with farming situations look to your money somebody come in your life and your money start getting all fucked up uh, mm. Suspect number one, that shit is toxic, okay? Some of you all, you could be, um, yeah, some of y'all, some of you guys could have walked away from a Capricorn in the past. This person could be wanting to come back into your world. They want to kind of rush you into making a decision. The reason why this person is rushing you and trying to rush you into making a decision based on, I feel like someone is trying to use the kids as manipulation or a circumstance around children as um, a reason to come back into your world but you're feeling to be defensive towards it because what this person is not telling you damn it and it fell on the floor they don't want me to tell you either so. somebody secretly want to leave the situation they don't really want to come back there for love not all of them some of them do okay but not all of them some of them this person is just a big codependent and have gotten immune to your energy and your over giving type nature and this person is going through some type of financial struggle. Seems like a uh, really badass couldn't be so badass by his damn self. Instead, he had to stay in his mother's fucking basement. Others of you are walking away from a relationship or walking away from a dynamic that's toxic. You can't quite put your hand on what it is, but you just feel something is off. Spirit is saying, trust yourself, trust your gut. Others of you are tired of attracting situations with people who don't want to offer any commitment. And the reason, if, if, if you want a solution to that, I'm saying here, a lot of you guys are going to have to transmute the element within yourself that allows people that allows people to stay in your energy, giving little but receiving all of the benefits as if they were giving a whole lot more or that they were receiving all of the benefits as if they were putting as much into the relationship as you do and some of you all are attracting people who are um especially when you're dealing with the air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius if you're dealing with an air sign this person you, you feel this sense of distance okay I'm also hearing frenemies okay so some of y'all could also be um finding out that the reason why a person was actually being defensive towards you was because either there was some type of gossip that they had that they had some type of partake in Somebody, I'm hearing somebody, somebody who's told somebody else's business to um, their child's mother or child's father, like, and they may put it in a joking way, and you kind of been wondering, like, damn, was that shade? Like, was this person really trying to, you know, you, you, you because I feel like someone could have been drunk or intoxicated during this time, so some of y'all may be looking at the situation when it's occurs, and just like, was that shade? Was this bitch really just tried to play me? Like, but you weren't sure that that, that motherfucker tried to play you. Hey, my, my, hey, listen, one thing my uncle told me all the time, a drunk man tells no tell. Pull up your motherfucking chair and listen well. Yeah, some of you guys are indecisive about, yes. Some of you guys could also be in your head about um, possibly some type of commitment or moving forward in a commitment with someone who's talking about marriage and all of this shit. And I feel like you kind of, oh, let me finish telling you. It's transmitting the aspect of within yourself, you guys, that allows people to stay in your energy for that matter or for that matter that has you that the transmutation starts within and it's also within you going and only accepting situations that is, is is in alignment with what it is that you're trying to manifest and not just having somebody in your energy because you want to you want to be committed or for that matter uh so for some type of like uh social status for others of you or for some type of because some of y'all are so if you are older Taurus woman, I definitely Taurus woman, okay? Some of y'all could be cross watches. But if you're an older Virgo woman, 
okay, and you are attached to a Taurus man or a Capricorn man, I definitely see the indecision around this person and commitment has to do with the original intent to only attach to you out of this codependent place for either social status. You could be someone who owns your own business, okay? This person's intention was to have some type of financial safety net to fall back on just in case something didn't work with someone else who they were juggling in a relationship who could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign. It's like, and for some of you all, you've been, you've been getting intuitive hits about it as well as, as some of you guys, this person is like holding a coin over your head and feeding you these projections that make you kind of feel as if you have to as if something is wrong with you and you have to fight off people who are wanting to come and offer to you because you feel as if you're not good enough based on this person's projections. You come into reality of that shit and you're making a decision, okay? Some of you guys have, um, some of you guys, the mother and father of your children during this time, maybe wanting to come back. And if this is a reconciliation with the mother and father of your children and you don't feel no type of bad vibes, okay? <laughs> Catch up our sauce and you do not feel no bad vibes. For some of you all, this situation looks very great. I mean, it looks very fruitful, like something that you can actually grow from. I definitely feel like there's going to be boundaries that need to be set in the past that you may need to speak up until shit got bad, you know. Um, I definitely feel like someone wants to come back and rectify a situation with their children as well as with you. But I feel as if they, somebody tired of being away from their kids. You know? Especially if you have a daughter. Someone wants to come and offer help. And this could be someone who you weren't talking to in the past. Someone who you could have, could have abandoned you and walked away from you, okay? You could also have an earth sign child. Someone wants to come and release the cycle of you, or, or, or assist you with releasing the weight that you feel as if you're carrying by yourself, okay? And for some of you all, you're indecisive about this shit because you want to keep your options open. You could have recently just got out of a relationship and then damn this situation comes, okay? Some of you guys some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. They know that they love you. This person has issues around their mama man. And I feel like because you are loving, because you are nurturing aspects that people would love. It's like this person immediately comes up with this defense mechanism as if you know, they feel the need to move away or those people who give them, like, this person's afraid of falling in love. I definitely see communication coming, yeah, I definitely see communication coming in, okay, regarding the situation, um, regarding, it's coming from somebody who could have moved away from you for that particular matter, uh, for that reason that I just named, who could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I do see this person is going to be communicating with you, something about the Something about the 8th of August, somebody's going to receive some type of job offer on the 8th of August or get an offer to start the job on the 8th of August, okay? Um, others of you, on the 10th of August, someone who you wasn't talking to, who you could have children with, this person is, from now to the 10th, someone is going to be coming forth or coming to make you an offer. For some of you all, it's going to start with an apology, even a small offer, even asking you if you need something after an apology, okay? Other than you, this person could be trying to work on their finances. This is why the offer is coming very slow, but they feel as if if they didn't move like right now, the the offer the offer wouldn't be accepted. Some of y'all this could have to do with you being like this person intuitively feels as if you're gonna move away, and some of y'all it's because you are gonna move away, possibly uh some of y'all this move has to do with a promotion or a job or starting over to start a business, like a business location for the low. Others of you, a situation around, um, if you have children with the sign of Scorpio, okay, I definitely feel like there's a decision that's needing to be made uh, rather to move forward because this person could possibly be your divine masculine. There's a decision that needs to be made either to move forward with this situation or to release it all together. And I feel like some of you all are not ready to make a decision because you really put them like cake, okay? You could be attached to, some of y'all could be attached to two water signs. If you are attached to two, to two water signs, maybe you have children with one, and you 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 have one that's a divine masculine. Your divine masculine wants to come and trans transform a situation that you could have released 
And you could have been manifesting this and manifesting this, but now your child's father is back. You're having to make a decision because some of y'all, you're reconciling with or renewing things with within a marriage or within a relationship, something regarding your children, like some type of family dynamic. And someone, you could even have two children fathers. Somebody got to make a decision between, um, and to be honest, this is a past life karmic issue. Someone could make a decision in the past. Someone is also needing to choose between their divine feminine and a deceptive um, ex-partner or a, dece a deceptive, like, karmic energy that could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if they're connected to. I definitely feel like, for some of you all, there is a tower moment that's coming, but the tower moment is about someone actually pressuring you all for some of y'all to make a decision and you just like what's the goddamn rush simply this person what's the damn rush is this person is having issues when it comes to movement forward they need a place to stay now let your damn son sleep on that damn in that guest room now stop playing you know what the hell they need others of you others of you could be uh moving some of y'all could be um some of y'all could be cutting off of, cutting off some type of friendship, situationship, uh, <laughs> sexuationship with an air sign. Some of y'all may discover somebody talking shit um, about you because I feel like this person expected for you to hold on to them, okay? Because of how long, something about history, how long you guys been. For some of you all, because you were cutting off any type of toxic situation, situ uh, or circumstances, to places, things, and this person has an issue with abandonment or an issue with people moving away from them. Some of y'all, this person could be being very petty. I'm all, some, yeah, some of y'all, this person could actually, the petty shit, could have actually been uh, trying to get in your energy to expose you um, in front of something new that's trying to be, like somebody is trying to sabotage. Or something new that's trying to be built in your life with shade, okay? Listen, when you feel that you got to watch a motherfucker, trust what you felt the first time, okay? Because yourself will not play yourself. When has it ever? Some of you guys are. <laughs> Some of you guys could also be finding out some information, um, possibly regarding a Libra. There may be, it may hurt your feelings during this time. You may be, they put you in a space of anxiety because you love this person, I feel, okay? And some of you all could be in some type of marriage or partnership. And I feel like for some of y'all, you want to release this shit. You see the nine swords and her fucking so You want to release this. And start something new, but however, there's an issue around communicating this because you feel as if you're obligated to stay in a situation due to your children. But you may be in love with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be, um, you may have someone who you truly love, a soulmate here. Could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces for some of you all, Aries. Some of you all also may um, be afraid to go to like a rehab. You, you're afraid of being judged. If someone was having codependent issues, um, someone is going to be agreeing to go to the rehab. But I feel like it's going to be closer to September in the month of August. They're going to fight you. If they're, if they're resisting it, it has to do with the fact that they're, they're, someone is afraid of being shamed or judged or embarrassed or looked upon negatively. This could be someone who has some type of status. Some of you are, um, some of you are, you have a Sagittarius coming in to come and see you, okay? This could be someone who could have put you in a third party situation. This person could be your damn twin frame as well. Some of you all are kind of nervous about moving forward. I definitely see you moving forward victoriously, okay? For some of you all, this could also have to do with the Cancer. You could have dealt with a Sagittarius who put you in a third party situation, possibly with the Cancer or a Gemini. 
but I do see victory moving forward, okay? Um, moving forward and off and, and being receptive to new love, which could be coming. Some of y'all have to rectify something with a cancer. There's a cancer that could have put you in a third party situation or could have not made a decision about what it was that they wanted to feel beforehand with you. This person has had some type of awakening to the fact that you could be a twin flame to them or a past life soulmate. They want to come back, fix it, move forward, okay? And I do see you guys being victorious because it came up with the damn ten of pence with the damn um, ace of cups. Okay, and some of you all, you see fulfillment, uh, you, you, your, your wishes are going to be fulfilled as far as things moving forward, there being some type of transformation in a relationship or a partnership, possibly with the water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. I see, I heard blending, the blending of families, okay, something starting, uh, not, some of y'all, it is fresh, and for some of you all, you're nervous about going back in a relationship because the communication could have been extremely bad, this person could have treated you really bad in the past. And you're afraid to possibly leave a situation where you feel this sense of safety. But there's this aspect of duality that's trying to occur. And I see it actually empowering you. It actually, this cup of love kind of puts you in this place, in this seat of power here. Puts you in this, um, it, it, this, this motivates your passion. It motivates your, your movement forward towards your life path. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys need that passion to be activated. Some of you guys, um, you're going to be accepting a new love offer, possibly from a Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, uh, gang, gang. One, some of y'all crushing on me? Hmm. Hmm. Let me find out. <laughs> but I definitely see things going positive for you all um, towards the month's end. I just see the first week or two may be challenging as you get um, readjusted to the changes. Or I'm hearing rapid changes that are going to be uh, kind of flowing into your world. The mantra for this first half is going to be compromise, not control. Surrender and not be selective to the things that you damn surrender to. Hard-headed asses. And you guys let me know how this resonates. This is what I have for you guys for the month of August. I love you very, very, very much. I send you love, light, peace, and blessings. Y'all hit me up if you need to read. That information can be found in the description. Namaste, baby.